A-I-T-A, am I the a-hole for refusing to cook for my teenage kids? I am a single mom to my two kids Jenny, 15, and Mark, 17. They are good kids and I love them to death but they have both adopted very specific diets. It started with Mark getting into weightlifting slash bodybuilding last year. He is on a cut right now and is dieting like crazy. He gave me a list of approved foods for his diet and it's basically just chicken, broccoli, brown rice, tuna, lentils, potatoes. There are a couple more veggies that I'm allowed to cook with but that's basically it. Mark was a really chubby kid and I know the bodybuilding was a huge turning point for him so I want to support him. I was cooking two meals for the family every night, one for him and one for Jenny and I. It was a bit stressful but I was managing. About a month ago Jenny told me she was going vegan. This is something she wants to do for ethical and environmental reasons and I support her. She gave me a book of vegan recipes to use. Making a full vegan meal for one kid and a bodybuilding meal for the other takes two hours minimum if you include planning, prep, cooking and cleaning. The ingredients for these diets are pricey so our grocery bills have skyrocketed. Marks hates spice, Jenny loves spice. Jenny hates lentils and broccoli so I can't even try to combine some of their meals. Both kids hate cooking and refuse to help. They make their own breakfast but not lunch so I have to portion their dinners so they can bring leftovers. Yesterday I was just exhausted and just didn't want to cook. I told the kids to order takeout when I went to take a nap. Well I woke up from my nap to two pissed off kids. Both of them were giving me shoot for not cooking, Mark Baiching takeout food is too greasy, Jenny Baiching there weren't any vegan restaurants in our area. Something inside me broke. I just started crying and told them both they were on their own from now on. I would buy the groceries but I wasn't cooking another damn meal. Jenny called me a shoot mom and ran off to her room and Mark just rolled his eyes at me. Neither kid is talking to me right now and I just feel like shoot. I want to support my kids in whatever they do. At the same time, I just can't cook anymore. My whole life is just work, cook, sleep. Am I an a-hole? Are my kids right? Am I a shoot mom? T.L. D.R. Both my kids have specific diets and want me to cook for them. I am tired of it and am going on a cooking strike. N.T.A. Not the a-hole. You're not a bad mom, you're tired and overwhelmed. Could you take time to work with both Jenny and Mark on how to cook? Even teach them to meal prep? so they only have to cook one day per week. I see you say they don't like to cook, and I get that, but at their ages I think it's reasonable to expect them to learn how to cook some things. NTA, 15 and 17 are old enough to cook for themselves. Especially if you're buying the food. If your kids can make you lists of approved foods you're allowed to cook they can look up recipes. I agree. Especially since that 17-year-old will, possibly, go off to college and get an apartment in a few years, he needs to learn how to cook. I can kinda understand a 15-year-old not knowing how, but she'll eventually need to learn as well. On another note, it must be incredibly difficult to cater towards a vegan as well as a bodybuilder at the same time, buying those ingredients, looking for recipes, and making them. But, if the kids want to go onto a special diet, what do they think they're going to do when they leave the house? Call their mom to make their food for them. They need to learn to cook it. And T.A., the sheer entitlement coming from these kids is appalling. Maybe they've just gotten used to walking over you and you doing everything for them that they're shocked that you're actually standing up for yourself. I mean giving you lists and recipes of allowed foods. Refusing to help? It's a truly astounding amount of disrespect towards you and a complete lack of responsibility for themselves. Also if they don't know how to cook for themselves what are they gonna do when they move out? Good on you for sticking up for yourself. Keep it up, you deserve better treatment from your children, as in for them to treat you like a mother and not a servant. You are not the a-hole. 
NTA. That said, I can see that from your kid's perspective this might have come a bit out of the blue if they have been able to get away with not being involved with cooking so far in life. This doesn't make you the a-hole. I'd suggest pitching some kind of family conference where you explore ways of getting them to understand how much additional work their new diets are creating, and how the only person that negatively impacts on is you. Maybe try to pitch it in terms of the things that have driven them to adopt these diets. To your son, perhaps something along the lines of a strong man doesn't just lift iron, he carries the weight of his own decisions. If he wouldn't expect you to carry his weights to the gym for him, he shouldn't expect you to carry the weight of his new diet. To your daughter an ethical diet that is only achieved by creating a burden for another person, is not truly ethical. What she is doing is relieving her conscience of a burden by heaping work on your shoulders. It might be worth giving them some time to sit with those thoughts before you then try to plot a route forward. Ideally have a friend ready to whisk you away for an appropriately socially distanced meal outside the home if possible. NTA. Your kids have selected unusual diets, and it's wrong for them to assume you will cater to their every whim. Guess they both better learn how to cook for themselves. I've a husband and two sons. I'll cook one meal. I'm not a short order cook. If they want something other than what I'm making they can make it themselves. NTA. 100% this. I definitely recall throwing a temper tantrum as a child over food, sitting at the dining room table for an hour or so, and just not eating. I was fine. The world moved on, I didn't starve to death, and decades later we laugh at it. If it was a food you tried multiple times and didn't like. Cool. Didn't have to eat it? If you were just being a picky asshole that day? Good luck watching everyone eat while you sit there because you still had to sit at the table for dinner. NTA. Buy them each an Instapot and hand the Vegan recipe book back to your daughter. My kids are 3, 5, and 10 and know that I am not a short order cook. As they get older, I'll support them with the lifestyle decisions they make and teach them how to cook for themselves, and clean up after themselves, but I'm not going to be a slave to my kitchen just because they've decided to restrict their diets. NTA. You're willing to buy groceries and they're old enough to learn to cook. If they're going to have very specific diets that aren't medically necessary for them. If you were refusing to accommodate a child having a food allergy that would be one thing but your teens have just gone ultra picky. If they want to eat that way, fine but it's unreasonable to expect you to make two or three separate meals every time you cook to accommodate their new diet choices. NTA. They're both well old enough to cook for themselves. If they want to follow strict dietary demands they both need to be helping cook every night at the bare minimum. NTA nope. If these kids are old enough to decide on specific diets for themselves and track down cookbooks on how to cook those meals to present to you, they're old enough to cook their own food. NTA especially your son's diet is madly restrictive. Vegan doesn't seem so hard, then again, I don't eat dairy so for me it's just a matter of leaving out eggs and meat. Vegan bodybuilding meal plan gets a ton of hits on Google. Maybe your kids can alternate the days on which they cook something both of them can eat. Info, do they know how to cook? Is it possible you could show them how to cook those recipes in a safe way? They have some cheek giving you recipes and expecting you to cook for them. A way you could go about is telling them that if they're responsible enough to pick their own individual diets they surely they can learn to cook them. Say you won't expect them to cook for themselves all the time maybe a few times a week and that if they truly want these individual diets then they have the responsibility to cook them. If they have this responsibility then can't expect you to cook three individual meals, including yourself. You'll overwatch them to guide them for safety reasons. If your daughter intends to continue her vegan diet into adulthood then surely she'd want to commit. So would your son to his diet? 
argue that if they intend to go on with this then they should be taking responsibility as clearly you aren't responsible for their meals and what goes in them anymore. I think you should go in this in a gentle way. I find this situation tricky to solve there might no be a right answer because well they're teens. Edit to add, and ta. I actually cannot believe they pushed you to the point where you even have to question here whether you are the asshole or not. Of frocking course you are not the a-hole. These kids are old enough to be capable of cooking, if they want to follow specific diets they should be freaking making their own meals. You only have two arms. You're not running a damn restaurant. My brother has started going on a crazy bodybuilding diet a few months ago as well and he immediately started preparing his own meals and my family and I were actually very appreciative of this because it makes sense for the one with the very specific requirements to handle these requirement. You are in no way the a-hole. 100% NTA. And if they're not okay with cooking for themselves now, what are they going to do when they leave home? They need to get the heck over themselves. It's normal for kids their age to at least help with the cooking, but if they're asking for such specific diets, they should be prepared to do the work. As an aside, from your post you sound like you're a bit underwater and burnt out. You might see a benefit if you can find the time and money to see a therapist. Even just for the short term, it might help you regain your perspective, and come up with some coping mechanisms for what sounds like a very hectic life. NTA. Holy shoot, are they always such entitled brats? Yeah I mean she wants to be vegan but won't eat broccoli. Seems like a choosing beggar to me. They both do. NTA. Your kids are being horribly entitled and probably need a reality check. They should learn to cook their food themselves and prepare for the real world, because you won't be there to babysit them all their lives. I think this is a good start, and obviously they won't like it, because they are used to having someone else make their food, but they have to learn eventually.